This video will show you how to fix voice memo won't play on you iPhone or iPad. If you are ever facing your recorded audio not playing in the voice memo app, do not worry. Watch my free tutorial to resolve the problem. On my screen, you can see various factors that affect the voice memo app, including hardware and software. Try each solution and let me know in the comments which one worked. Solution number one is force close the voice memo app. Just swipe from the bottom and hold on the middle of the screen to get app switcher menu. Now find the voice memo app and pull it up side to force close it. Now, return to the home screen and retry to play or record a voice memo. If it does not work, go with the next workaround. Solution number two is force restart iPhone. Some of the users can resolve audio playback issues by force restarting their iPhone. To do it, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release volume down button in last. Press and hold on the power button till the Apple logo appears on the screen. After you reboot your phone, please open the voice memo app and record the necessary information. Are you still having trouble? It seems like your device is running low on storage space. Let me help you free up some space so that your device can run smoothly again. Solution number three, clear storage space. Open the settings app and go to general, now app on storage space and check for available storage space on the top ball. This number indicates the amount of available storage space on my iPhone's internal memory. Please compare with your device and comment below on how much storage you have. My secondary iPhone storage is full, so I can't record voice memos. I can take pictures with the camera, and I am facing an app crashing issue. So please free up storage space by deleting unnecessary pictures, videos, documents, and WhatsApp chats. Please make sure to watch the complete guide video link in both the description and above the video card. Solution number four, delete the voice memo app and reinstall it again. Sometimes, bugs in the app version cause issues. So before doing any advanced level action, please uninstall the app. Press and hold on the voice memo app icon. Tap on remove app now, tap on delete, and again tap on delete app to confirm. Now open the app store, go to the search bar, and navigate the voice memo app to reinstall. Tapping on this icon to download. And that's it. Solution number five, save the voice memo in iCloud storage space. This is not mandatory, but is an ideal solution to back up. Open the settings app. Click on the Apple Aid profile and select iCloud and go with select all option. Now scroll the screen to enable the voice memo toggle to automatic backup to cloud storage. It means store on the Apple server. If your iCloud storage space full, watch my video given on the above video call to make free up space in an iCloud setting. Solution number six, turn off low power mode. Rarely, some services can't work as we expected if the low power mode toggle is on. So please go to the battery setting and make it disable and check whether the voice memo app is working or not. Solution number seven, turn on the background app refresh for voice memo. One of my friends had turned off background app refresh for the voice memo app. However, after enabling it, the app worked more smoothly. To do so, open settings app, find general, tapping on the background app refresh and scroll the screen to turn the toggle on next to the voice memo app. That's it. Now check your audio recording app working or not. Furthermore, you can also try the best audio recording apps for iOS, which is given on the above video call. Solution number eight, update the voice memo app sometimes. App developer code glitches may be the reason some apps don't work properly. So check for the latest update for the voice memo app. In addition, the voice memo app is a default app. So if you update your software, the all stock apps will update it automatically. Solution number nine, reset all settings. It does work to bring all settings to factory default like a new phone settings. 
so that if any wrong setting set up by you, then it will resolve with this. So let us open settings app. Scroll to general and scroll down the screen all the way to tap on transfer or reset iPhone tab. Go with reset and click on reset all settings. You have to enter your passcode. And after that, enter the screen time passcode now finally. Tap on reset all settings and get your job done. Solution number 10, check for software update to update your software. Connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi, go to settings, then general and click on software update. On this screen, you can get an available update. So follow the on-screen instructions to upgrade your iPhone OS. If you have the latest update, then ignore this solution and go with the next one. Solution number 11, the mic is not working on your iPhone. In this case, you should try an external microphone to check if there is any hardware issue with the iPhone microphone or not. To get best microphone for iPhone, I have given link in video description below. Bonus tips audio I see is the main factor. Various symptoms may arise on an iPhone if the audio I see is faulty on the hardware. For example, grayed out voice memos icon, issue with audio during voice calls, Siri doesn't respond, and a grayed out loudspeaker icon during calls. Please visit the nearest Apple store or go to the authorized service center to diagnose the issue. To locate an Apple store nearby, click on the link in the comments section below. Friends, I hope you liked this video. Share it on your social profile to help your bodies. Thank you for watching.